Now, credit is where credit is due. Dr. Phil has been going a lot against political correctness recently. And he had many segments where he goes against censorship and he goes against some of the decisions made during the pandemic. He even went on The View, if you can believe it, and dropped a lot of truth bombs on CNN. Um, so I, I do think that he genuinely is against censorship. Um, and especially recently, after what happened to him, I'll, I'll let him explain it. You'll see what I mean. Usually, now I don't do a lot of this myself, it gets put up, but um, usually the review is like 10 seconds. Because they run it through like an algorithm or something and make sure it doesn't have something in it that shouldn't be there. Uh, and an hour later, which is usually like two seconds or 10 seconds, an hour later, the message came back rejected. They would not put it up. And uh, which is really disturbing to me because it was just a news promo. It's just, it was just a news promo. And, and it's not like I'm a known conspiracy wacko or something. Well, here's the problem, right? If we legitimize the concept that conspiracy wackos have to be censored, then you normalize the censorship. You normalize the concept that there needs to be some people out there which have the authority to decide what is real and what isn't. So no person in my life that I know of has the ability of knowing the truth from fiction 100% of the time. But apparently there must be some people out there, usually left-leaning people, that do have this ability and they do need to get hired by these multi-billion dollar corporations through, through a process that is unknown to the public. And they are the ones that get to decide, yeah, well, this is a conspiracy theory, this isn't. And once we give them that authority and they constantly make these decisions with no accountability whatsoever, like in case they accidentally call something a conspiracy theory that wasn't, or allow a conspiracy theory to escape their, their vigilance, there's no accountability, no one gets fired, right? So, so when you give that much power to a committee, to a group of people, well, you end up with stuff like this. And again, assuming that this is a mistake. Assuming that this wasn't done on purpose. So what Dr. Phil is talking about is that he interviewed Donald Trump. Now, now, him as a content creator, if you can call him like this, it's actually his job to get eyeballs, right? Like, would that interview get eyeballs? And the answer is yes. Like, it would have been very profitable for him. Not just the audience would be able to look at the interview, but also the, the mainstream media would, would be able to report on it. Also, a lot of people would have interest in it, especially before an election cycle. But his business opportunity is being crushed by the censorship apparatus, which we have to assume that it is an error. Or if it's not, then I guess it's done for public safety. Uh, Dr. Phil talking to Trump is extremely dangerous for the free and just society of America. Uh, so they need to activate non-freedom ways in order to stop it from spreading. And the public is shocked. Now, I, I don't know how it works, right? Usually uh, these American shows that happen in a studio, they, they have like these panels that uh, light up and say applause. They light up and they say boo. They light up and they say gasp. Right. So the public usually is paid <clears throat> like most people don't want to go there and, and waste hours of their life, especially uh, due to the fact that the recording takes more than the couple of hours of footage we see on TV like it can take for an entire day. Uh, people don't like sitting in the audience like that. So they're usually paid. Right. Uh, so the audience may actually be told to, to look shocked, to look aghast. But it's 2024. Who is shocked by this? Like who doesn't actually live on the Internet? where censorship is part and parcel of daily life. Like, everything has to be censored. Everything has to be pruned. Uh, and, and people demand censorship. Like, people want more censorship. That's the thing. Like, you don't have a culture where people are outraged of censorship, where people demand less censorship. No, we live in a culture where people believe that more censorship is the solution. And the only time people freak out is when it affects their daily life, it affects something they care about, uh, or it actually impacts them directly. So there's very few people that are against censorship on principle. 
And they're like, yeah, I, I would rather live in a society where I have the right to hear whatever people want to communicate to me so that I can make my own opinion. I do not want to live in a society where a group of people get to decide what I'm allowed to listen to or not because I'm an adult. Like, I don't live with mommy and daddy anymore. And at least I trusted mommy and daddy because I knew who they were and they wanted my well-being. I don't fucking trust these people working for companies that they want my well-being. Right. So, so there's very few people with my mentality, but there's a lot of people with like, no, actually, censorship is fine just as long as the people we disagree with get censored. And the problem with censorship is that it doesn't just affect Dr. Phil. Like, obviously, it affects him in the fact that uh, he's not going to be able to monetize that video. Right. He's not going to make money off of something that should also rise him to fame. I mean, being able to interview one of America's presidents is something that very few people can do. Uh, but it's also the audience that suffers. And even if you're a leftist, you suffer from this. Like, what if Donald Trump would have gone on this interview and he would have said something monumentally stupid? Or, or he would have done something that is incredibly outrageous to the point that it would convince a lot of left-leaning people that wouldn't be interested in voting to actually go and vote. We will never know, right? So both right-wing people and left-wing people are affected by the censorship, but there is no outrage. I mean, the outrage is a little bit of a buzz. It's like, oh, wow, unacceptable. Blah, 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 blah. And then people just go on with their day, which is why you get more censorship. More and more and more. Uh, to the point where even when AI is developed, which is just a glorified search engine, it can't just be deployed as is. It needs censorship in order to function. It needs trust and safety in order to operate. And this is because people demand it. I made a video yesterday. I know Tim Pool was trolling. But, like, a lot of people use the trolling as if it's a serious thing, you know, and they, they send it to a company boardroom or whatever. It's like, oh, look, look at the heart. Look, look, people are horrified that the AI isn't censored. Like, we need to censor it some more. Uh, this is the absolute state of the culture. And, and this is supposed to be the free world. I, I don't know how it's like in China. I don't know how it's like in Russia. But I guess it can always get worse than it's already here, right? Maybe this is the state of man. Maybe this is what we deserve. To have unaccountable, unelected people decide how conversations should happen in the public space just because they are hired by these corporations. And again, you can say, well, my private company can do what... First of all, we know that's not true. Like, we know for a fact that's not true from the Twitter file. Secondly, this is TikTok we're talking about. It's under the CCP. So if it's not too much to ask, please stop LARPing with the cope. Thank you. Uh, now, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the comment section. And of course, if you want to support the channel, there's a link into the pinned comment, which is going to take you over to my subscribe star, where in exchange for a small donation, not only do you get to keep the channel going, but you also get the best buyers remorse on the internet. So I'll see you guys there. Take care.